Hi, I'm Mike with Mike'sRoadTrip.com. As many of you know, I stay in a great deal of B&Bs and boutique inns along the way. And I absolutely love the experience. It's very unique and much different than staying in a typical hotel. But I also realize that there's a, um, a lot of misconceived notions out there and a lot of people aren't sure what to expect when staying at a B&B or what not to do. So I interviewed over a hundred innkeepers to ask them, what are your biggest pet peeves with guests? Surprisingly, uh, many of them only had positive things to say, but there were a few out there. So here are the top five things not to do when staying at a b and I'll start off with the biggest pet peeve innkeepers have. But first, let me preface the fact that a hotel typically has a front desk person on staff 24-7. In contrast, a B&B is a mom and pop small business, and so they could often be out at the market gathering goods for the next day's breakfast or you know, perhaps cleaning a room. So the number one biggest pet peeve that innkeepers have are guests not showing up during the designated check-in period, which is typically 4 to 6 p.m. Now, it's usually not a problem to show up late, provided that you give the innkeeper a heads up so that they can plan their day. The second pet peeve of innkeepers, those who don't respect the property. A bed and breakfast is often the home of the innkeepers, so they wanna keep it looking nice and they appreciate it if you will respect the property as if it were your own. I mean, make sure you wipe your feet before you come in and don't hang your wet towels over their beautiful wood furniture or their linens to shine your shoes. Just be respectful. Number three is just to be mindful of the rules and regulations. Usually these are very basic, but sometimes uh, there are things that are worth knowing whether it be a kid-free B&B or non-smoking, what have you. So just be mindful of those before you show up and that way everyone's expectations can be met. All right, the fourth biggest gripe are folks that just kind of take advantage of things. For example, there are a lot of amenities at a B&B that you just don't get at a hotel. It could be warm cookies at night, um, the fridge in your room may be stocked with some goodies, sodas and things, um, or they often have wine hour with appetizers. You know, there's, I, I like to think of this as the rule of two. There's no reason to take more than two cookies or two glasses of wine or, you know, just do not do anything in excess because then other guests may not get to enjoy that. Okay, the last thing on the list those who try and negotiate the rates and or terms. Again, a bed and breakfast is a small business and they just don't have the same margins as a large hotel. This is why you'll often see a minimum two to three nights stay so that they can help offset some of their expenses. If they do have a deal, it'll be offered on their website, typically during off-peak seasons or uh, during the middle of the week. So check their website for the latest deals. Well, I hope this insight into the pet peeves of innkeepers will help manage your expectations the next time you consider staying at a bed and breakfast. If you have any additional comments, please post them below. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, see you on the road.